All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back dudes, to another episode of Sevtech. Of Sevtech. I hope everybody are doing fan freaking fantastic today. Episode 21. Thank you guys so much again for all the love and support for this series. It's pretty ridiculous. You guys are loving it. So that's cool because I'm loving it too. Having a lot of fun here. Um, so today, dudes, uh, I've been looking into some stuff and... The next, like, the, to, to, to move on, let's look at L. To move on, we we did a bunch of side quests and stuff. Um, we could do some more. But there is, like, this may be a, something that I want to check out, the market. Um, but mainly I want to try and get a little bit ahead here. And, and the Enderman has begun spawning in the world. Yeah, okay. So we need this. Acquire constellation paper to fill the information in your astral sorcery journal, right? And we also need... Uh, to do this as the next step. Now, to use this table, this recipe here gives us the parchments. Um, but I guess they are wanting us to do it in, in the other way, like this way. The washi. So maybe we should do that. This was the... Ugh, yeah, this was all of this garbage, <laughs> I remember now. Um, but we could also make the constellation paper, as you can see, in the Lumius crafting table. Using this recipe, using normal Minecraft paper, which is not really easier to get when I think about it. Well, yeah, it is easier to get because it's just glue and sawdust. Um, long story short, to use this thing, though, we need a wand. We need this guy, the resonating wand, which requires the ender pearl. And I'm pretty sure now that I see this guide here, that that's gonna, it's gonna tell us that here. Um, so maybe what I want to do is... Constellation paper. Maybe what I want to do is focus on making the uh, the parchments uh, with this recipe, uh, and then so that we advance in the right in the right order, if that makes sense. But long story short, did I already say that I was thinking today of doing a uh, t trying to make a mob farm, like a very basic mob farm in that hunting dimension that we have, because it looks super cool in there, and we haven't really used it, and I kind of want to. I want to see if we can make a build out of it. But before I do that, let me try and make the old the old recipe for this constellation paper. Because honestly, looking at it all, that may be, <laughs> may be easier. Uh, but yeah, the goal today is going to be to get that one ender pearl. And ender pearls, well, you think they you think you think it's standard recipe? No, <laughs> no. Endermen uh, haven't spawned until this age that we're in now, age two. And why did this thing not decay? Oh, okay, I see. And, um, and, uh, they, they do not drop full ender pearls, as I, as far as I understand. So they drop, like, ender dust. We gotta take that ender dust and we gotta tinker it and, yeah, it's, it's a little bit of a thing. So, uh, that's why I wanted the, uh, the, the mob farm. So whilst this stuff is drying, the mulberry stuff, um, that I just cooked up, let's have a look at punchy sticks. Pointy. Holds of sticks to walls, yeah. So I've uh, got a lot of suggestions from you dudes, and someone even sent me a screenshot of a uh, very basic mob farm that you can make in this pack using these punji sticks. And that was quite early, so it may not even be useful anymore. Maybe we're like past that. But it looked kind of cool, and ever since then I've been like collecting these uh, sugar canes. Because um, as you saw there, we need quite a few to do anything with them. Now... This is something, do I have any building blocks? Like, I'm very low on cobblestone. Um, I guess at this stage... Oh, we have a little bit here, yeah. I guess at this stage, like, wood is probably the easiest to come by. Come by. But yeah, I can't remember exactly, I need wood as well. I can't remember exactly what the screenshot uh, did or how it looked like, but it's it was basically a very early way and a cool way of uh, farming mob stuff um, and uh, I liked it so kind of want to try and build something out of it and also use you know what I keep forgetting things here I need my ceremonial knife is that not is that in my bag did I, uh, did I oh I already put it here yeah we're gonna like use a totem pole is the whole idea to get the strength and then make mobs in this dimension um, come to us and die is the idea <clears throat> And, uh, and now that we have the climbing thing, the gloves that we made last time, if you dudes remember, these guys. Which you can, by the way, activate and deactivate by right-clicking here. Super simple. 
Um, now that we have that stuff, it should be a, a pretty cool thing to make. So we have a totem pole here already. This is giving us night vision. Okay, so what we got to do... Here, get out of here, golem. What I want to try and do is... Oh, come on. I want to try and build something here, you dudes, you fools. Yeah, night vision is totally going to help us with just, like, being here. Because it's so dark. Um, but we want to build, like, a chamber around this totem pole. Basically. And then we want mobs to come to us. So I don't know if this is the best spot. Because it's kind of up on a hill. I don't know if they're going to see us. But we can see. And Enderman is easy to attract. Because we can look at them. Hopefully they spawn in here. I would assume they spawn in here. Uh, that being said, I haven't really seen any. But I haven't really used this uh, dimension either. Uh, so let's try and build a structure. Chisel. Boom. It's so nice that we have chisel. And let's just use these. Does this Is this blinking going to be a thing? Because that sucks. I know there is a mod that King Lemming, I think, the maker of uh, Thermal Expansion has made. To avoid that. But uh, it's apparently not in the pack. That's really annoying. Yeah, uh, I, I can't exactly remember how this... Um, Mob farm looked. So I'm just gonna, just gonna, like, based off of my memory, try and build something clever here. But basically, we want, let's see, yeah, we want the mobs to come, come towards us, so they need to see us. And then we don't want them to be able to attack us, but we want to be able to attack them. And this could actually give us iron. If these dudes drop their armor, yeah, they do. Like, we can smelt it, if we repair this, we could probably smelt this down. Uh, oh, we need a stoked. I thought you could do that in a tinker's thing. Um, so how do we do this best? If we were to have something like this. Like a bunker. And then the pointy sticks would go... Here. The punji sticks. But how are we going to get their loot? We need some hoppers here as well. Which isn't necessarily a huge problem to get some hoppers going at this stage, to be honest. <laughs> Okay, let's see if this dude... He actually walks into the punji sticks. What an idiot. <laughs> that worked beautifully for the golem. Because remember, like, we can climb up the walls. We can go and, like, do whatever we want. Um, obviously, this would not work for an enderman. We would need to have a roof here. So we'd need to do something like this. And I don't know what uh, I have on this totem pole. We got enderman for night vision. Enderman, horse, wolf, and enderman. Okay, so... For some reason, I got two... Yeah, I probably want to rebuild this entire thing, honestly. So let's go down two blocks. I think that's fine. And let's make that thing a totem pole or a base. And then I definitely want an ocelot. The ocelot, as you know, or as I've said at least, will prevent creepers from blowing things up. So that's perfect. In case they get shot by a skeleton or something. And then one, two, three... Five, you can four. You can make these six tall, I think. So we want the uh, let's see, we want the wolf times two gives us strength. Does that give me strength two? Yeah, that gives me strength two. Okay, and then we want the enderman. And I guess we could put more of these totem poles in the sides here if we really wanted to. But yeah, let's, uh, I'm gonna sta stand here for a while and see if I can see any endermen spawning. Because if so, I should be able to aggro them. They can't reach me, but they're gonna try and get close like the spider. <laughs> These punji sticks are very, very efficient. Zombies are absolutely stupid. This is like five minutes in standing here. <laughs> Zombies and spiders, it works great on. Ooh, these are new. Frozen skeleton. Yeah, I was a little bit worried what's gonna happen when we get a, a bowman skeleton. But so far, none of them has... Has triggered, but look at these idiots, like... <laughs> they just walk into it and die. <laughs> I've yet to seen a, uh... I've yet to see a, uh... An enderman in here, though, unfortunately. We just got some ice there. Ooh, interesting. Interesting. And whilst we're back here, I may just as well, uh... Because I'm gonna give it, like, a minute or so. <laughs> and then go back and see if the mobs has uh, died, or if that area immediately... Unloads a chunks or whatever. Okay, so we take that, we turn it into that, and we needed four of these, and we're gonna get five. So that's good. Gonna get the first parchment thing. I've already made a parchment, though, so I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. But yeah, you go in there, 
And then another thing that you guys have been saying so much is that, and I think I mentioned this, is that the lead visually despawns, but it's going to continue to work. So I'm just going to leave the lead there now. If you guys are wrong, you guys owe me a lead, basically. All right, deal. Oh, and you know what I wouldn't mind testing whilst I'm here? Check this out. Let's see. Let's see if this is a thing. Two levers. Because remember, we checked out that another time and we can make them. Can I turn these guys off? No, they have to be loud and noisy. That's annoying, <laughs> but okay. It's so awesome to have the slime boots, by the way. I'm just saying. Um, <clears throat> all right, so I got four parchments. We got an aquamarine. I got 14 left or 13 left after this. That's the annoying thing with the climbing things, though. So let's make a new parchment. Boom. And what? It oh, no, I pressed that thing. What is it that I'm doing here? Acquire constellation paper to fill the information. Here. Okay. Constellation. Do I actually need to do this ritual garbage? Yeah, I probably need to do that. Okay. Maybe we'll do that then. I, it shouldn't, like, if it doesn't fail, if I don't have to deal with the disgusting things, then this should be fairly straightforward. Uh, two gold, four aquamarine, and two rock crystals. Okay. Four aquamarines. And do I have my necronomicon in here? Yes, we have... 4,000 PE in there. <laughs> yep, I've been fighting a lot of those disgusting things. Uh, where is... Uh, what am I looking for? Rock crystals. They're up here. We got these last time. So there are some properties with these. And uh, as far as I know from Astro Sorcery... Sorcery. That's sorcery. Shro Hello? Sorcery. That's not really important so far. <laughs> it's going to be important later. Oh, look at that. we got a fully repaired iron sword. I'm just gonna test this. Why would they disable that? Oh, they have. Okay. Okay. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, the rock crystals are not super important until much later. Um, uh, like the purity and stuff on them. It's a very cool feature, though. Very cool feature. Oh, come on. Get out of here, dude. And the thing that I'm most sad about losing with this is the aquamarine. So hopefully... Like, this I can create new, but hopefully the process doesn't fail, and hopefully we don't get no disgusting mob spawn in. That being said, we got a bit better armor, and we got a, a better uh, weapon and stuff now, so that's cool. But okay, shift right click. Please don't fail. Please don't fail. Yes, we got it. We got it! Got him! Nice! There we go! And we already got that achievement to see, defeat the Enderman. Because remember, or I don't know if that was in like Director's Cup, but I did kill an Enderman. Got zero powder. Have begun spawning in the world. Slay them to obtain their Ender Dust. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we also got the Luminous Crafting Table requires the Starlight Meter to be filled before a crafting operation can be completed. Craft and use the Fossic Resonator to locate an area in the world. Okay. Fossic... Resonator. Uh, there are a couple of uh, things here. This guy? What is that? Liquid Starlight. Okay, so first we need the Starlight. Uh, marble we can find in the world. Bronze Road we can create in the uh, thing. Um, so that's that's totally doable. As long as we get the Starlight. I, I, I just want to say as well, like, I really like the Astral Sorcery. It feels very well made. I'm just not into much, too much into, uh, into, uh, <laughs> magic mods. We got this Zidia. Basically, this is a constellation of star formations in the sky, and that's what this is. And it can give you a different, uh, different buffs and stuff, and you can actually see these in the night sky. Which is super cool. It's like a very, uh, very sweet way of, uh, of, uh, doing things. Do I not have a book that I can put this guy in? Ah. I may have it somewhere. Okay, anyway, we also got the Liquify, which is going to be the main quest here. Then we need the Starlight Upgrade. Wow, we need to go through this mod, and I am... Um, you need a resonating resonating wand from Astro Sorcery to continue your journal. Yeah, this is what I... This is what I knew about. So, that's the Resonator wand that we need to do. What is included in doing the Liquify? Liquify... Let's have a look. What is this called? What is this basin called? Lightwell. Lightwell. Is it just... Um, oh, okay. So this guy needs to be crafted in the Luminous Crafting Table. We have all these ingredients. Because I think you can chisel the marble. Yes, you can. Okay, <laughs> nice. Um, 
we have all of these ingredients, so that's cool. But we need the one. So basically, we do need the Ender Star now. Or Ender Ender Star? No. The the End Ender Pearl is what they're called. Jesus, Gal, you stupid moron idiot. Yeah, we need the Ender uh, Pearl. So I'm gonna stand here, like I said, I don't know if they spawn in this dimension. I hope they do. I saw that zombie just killing something. I hope they do. This is a I don't know the biome, but I, I would think that it's a normal place. Look at that karate zombie fighting that other zombie. They're like, hey, I'm the better zombie. Oh, no, it's not a zombie. It's Steve. Dudes, we should check that out. Why is there a Steve walking around? And why did he lose to the karate zombie? I avenged you, Steve. Oh, no. What? Okay, they spawned in so quickly. And, of course, I'm in water. Okay, okay, I'm good. These are the worst, the wither, the wither witches. Oh, by the way, you get slowed from these uh, punji sticks as well, so yeah. Be a little bit careful. But yeah, long story short, if we can get Enderman to... There's another Steve. Fallen hero. Huh. If we can get Enderman to spawn here, this is going to be good times. Otherwise, I'm just going to go ahead and build one of these things in the old world. And then wait for night time. But I don't see a reason why we shouldn't have Endermen spawning here. I just think they're very rare. And this stupid idiot. Look at that. I mean, it's working good though, right? We are safe in here. We're chilling. They are walking into the bungee sticks. <laughs> Morons. Except for here. I may have to change that corner there. Excuse oh, and this could act as a barrier, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put it in the corners as well. The punji sticks. Don't know if it counts as player kills when you when they kill them. I don't even know if they kill them fully. I think they do. Or if they like take them down to one heart. Oh, okay. I haven't found an Enderman, but that's an Ender Mini right there. And it's two Ender Minis. And these are probably gonna kill me. Because they are so powerful, these guys. And both of them attack me. Uh oh. Oh, he died. He died to the spikes. But this witch is gonna get me. <gasps> I got it! Yes! So I was just like AFK here looking up uh, online if Endermen do spawn in here. And they do. So that's confirmed. And then I, it also said that the Endermen is spawn. Which we saw there. Which, can you please? Which, please? <laughs> See what I did there? That's beautiful. So we got one ender dust. That's all we need to make one ender pearl. This is awesome, man. This is working out great. I was scared of that ender mini. Because in in default configuration, at least in the past, they were like one of the worst mobs you could face. Uh, I should note as well, or tell you guys that another thing, the skeletons, the trumpet skeletons and all the skeletons, they don't actually take damage from the spikes. Which is kind of annoying. That's um, a thing that he's changing, the mod author. Uh, because it's from better mods and it's not, I guess it's, it wasn't intended or, I don't know, maybe he changed his mind. I don't know all of these things. We got a witch hat as well, nice. But yeah, they don't take damage, however, they do get like slowed and they do get attacked, so. The slow thing that it applies is pretty good. Don't know what these demon cats drop, but it's a bit too many of them everywhere. Also, I think I'm going to alter my instance uh, and include that mod that King Lemming... The author of, uh, what is that? Is that more golems? Yeah, the author of uh, Thermal Expansion made, uh, which basically makes this blinking stuff not happen. Because that sounds like a good time. Okay, so I've made a little chest here, by the way. Can I, what can I use this for? Just wear on my head. Okay, from Quark. Uh, let's, uh, I'm putting the mob loot in there. That's good. Let's go back home and let's see if we can make an ender pearl and then make that staff. I'm excited. I couldn't... I, I wasn't sure if I was gonna have to, like, hunt this ender ender pearl for ages. So to make the ender pearl, we're gonna need a pan thing. Uh, this guy, I assume? No, we're unfamiliar with that. This guy. <laughs> pan pattern. Yes. We're gonna need this guy in here. Cool. Uh, and then we're going to need to put him down here and make a mold. And I'm going to make it out of gold because I want to reuse it, most likely. Uh, and I can start that smelting. Nice. So that's smelting down. That's a really neat way of, like, uh, making it harder to get enderpearls early game. I like it. I like it. 
like it a lot. Okay, so we got a, a, a pan thing, and we're just gonna wait for that thing to smelt. We're doing pretty okay with lava. I still haven't refilled once, by the way, on lava. What was I... Oops, what was I... What the... What was I smelt now? Cooked bear meat. Yeah, don't mind if I do. I murdered a bear at some point. Uh, molten ender pearl, and that's 250, so... That's one pearl, also in normal modded Minecraft. Sweet! Look at that thing. Look at it! There we go! Nice. Okay, so... Ooh, we got compact machines in here as well. Nice. That's cool. Yeah, there are a bunch of things in this pack. I'm pretty sure we're gonna need more craft, uh, more of these uh, immediately. But uh, this is the guy I want to craft. The the the. Or maybe that wasn't the thing. This guy, resonating wand. So we need marble, aquamarine, and the pearl. And I wonder if any marble goes. I just, I mean, let's just try it. Yes, it does. Nice. So we got that advancement, the resonator. It wants me to do a weird gadget already. That's kind of scary. Um, <clears throat> I think this starlight... Starlight... Oh, no. That's not what it was called. What was it called? kind of want to make this, but this required a bucket of starlight. Yeah, so we need to do the star well next. Which looked... Was that another... I can't remember. Um, well... Light well is what it's called. No, this is the Lumius crafting table. It requires marble. Okay, yeah, that thing we can totally do now that we have the wand. Because the wand is required to initiate the crafts in the thing. Remember how I was asking you dudes why my thing didn't work? Well, it's not that it wasn't working. Let's put those in there, I guess. It's not that it wasn't working. It's just that I'm a stupid idiot and, you know, you need a, <laughs> you need a wand to initiate it. So we need night time, which uh, we have. Sweet. I'm looking for... Looking for stars. Okay, so the way this works is this is the energy of the uh, of the table. The more towards midnight it is, the more energy it will get. And also, Y level affects it. Uh, there, in addition to that, there are also places in the world which will further enhance the uh, the the starlight power of a thing. Right? Does that make sense? Oh, there's another enderman there. You know what? I'm just gonna. Enderman, hello. Yeah, so so basically a bunch of things affects it. Dude, you are you're getting wrecked. Did I get anything? No crap. Yeah, a bunch of things affect it. Um and we want to find a spot. Wow! Oh my goodness! That's a really good spot, I think. So this next thing that we're gonna craft or try to get this guy, uh Starlight Meter. To be filled with a... No, Fossic Resonator will show us starlight... Uh, areas in the world where starlight is accessible. I think that's how it works. First of all, let's try this with a constellation paper. So I right-clicked with my wand to initiate it. Look at that. Yeah, baby. Nice. So we got eight, uh, four parchments from that. That was way easier since I had paper. But yeah, we need to do this before, uh, before the day comes. So let's uh, see... Let me uh, take this. We're going to chisel it into two of those pieces. Four of... Uh, oops. Four of the things. Oh, no, not four, but uh, two of those. Oh, I needed three of the pillar. Stupid moron. And then I need uh, two aquamarine and one rock crystal. Okay. We got to hurry up here a bit as well because I don't want to lose this night. Oh, and we already lost a lot. Why did we lose a lot of starlight? You see how that's going down? It's probably because time is shifting. Please work. Please work. Oh yeah, it's already morning time. Ah, that's why. Okay. Yeah, we got the light well though, so that's cool. And you're kidding me? We need to now upgrade the altar. Upgrade the luminous crafting table to the next tier. Aside from the table, you'll need to construct a structure to begin crafting process. Consult the Astral Sorcery Journal Exploration section. Okay, so I better check my journal <laughs> because, uh, yeah, I don't, uh, I don't know about these multi-structures. Multi-structures in mods always scares me. Okay, so we needed to go to exploration. This is a really nice book, by the way, really nice in-game thing. So you zoom in with your scroll wheel and you'll start seeing things. Look at that. That is, that is freaking sweet. That is freaking sweet. So what are we doing this thing? Starlight crafting altar. Okay, so we need one liquid uh, starlight bucket, some marble stuff, and a rock crystal. So as far as that's concerned, we we can absolutely craft that guy. Um, 
Start is focusing abilities of luminous. Start to require luminous craft type, but not much. Okay, yeah, you can hover this thing and it should show you. Here, for example, we need to build this. Wow. So we need all of these things. 8 chisel marble, 28 marble arc, 24 marble bricks, 21 sooty marble, and some pillars. Cool. Um, so how do we get sooty marble? Sooty marble. Do we just burn... Oh no, we have to do it. Of course we have to do it in this guy. Okay, so we need coal, which is good that I collected a bunch of coal, and we need any type of marble. So what I'm probably gonna do, dudes, is I'm probably gonna go and mine a crap ton of marble. Um, but I just wanna see, do we have enough to- because we have a little bit of this during daytime. Do we have enough to, like, do this during daytime? Because that would be nice. Reach for the stars, they said. Yes, we do. Nice. And I just turned all of our <laughs> marble into crap. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Okay, so, so we have more sooty marble than we need. This is a really nice looking block, by the way. We're, good, we're probably going to need it in the future. Kind of looks like a blank coal thing. Alright, I got a little bit more of this stuff than I need. But, uh, long story short, it's night time, and that's the one thing with this mod you have to, like, pay attention to, because you can only do uh, <laughs> so much during daytime, I suppose. But I think we got all the stuff that we need. 8, 28, 24, 21, 8, I think was what we needed. I also made, like, a little chest here for, for this stuff, and I cleared out the area. Okay, so this is what we need to build. Sombert, Paris, okay? Oh, they, they changed when you place two, okay. Could've just tried that. Wow, I kind of want to build with this. Maybe we make an astral sorcery like room or area out here as well. Um, unfortunately, it needs to be outside. Okay, so the next things are these guys, and then we should be done. So that goes all the way out there. Okay, so that's the multi-block, and then we need the upgraded thing in the middle, which I think required starlight. So I've not got any starlight in there. Hmm. Have I? No. So I've done this wrong then. How does I... How do I... Oh, I need to put a resonating gem in it? Or a rock crystal. Oh, I didn't know. Is it like... That's good though. I thought it collected it over time. Also, since I did find another rock crystal sample, we do have quite a bit of rock crystals, to be honest. Um, Because there's another sample that I haven't dug out. So do I just... Ah, oh, that is so neat looking. I like it. I like it. There's a Zombert over there. So that generates the liquid starlight. Oh, that's cool. Look at how beautiful that is. Woo! Can I stand inside, please? Can I? Can I? P p please. D d d is that full? Nice. Okay, it didn't even consume the rock crystal. Oh, it's more than a bucket. Nice. That's awesome. Okay, so hopefully it's getting morning time. But please, where's my wand? Uh, there. Hopefully I can do this. Oh! <laughs> the particles and stuff in this board is absolutely fantastic. Hallelujah. Is it not working? Do I need more starlight power? And it's slowly draining. I may have missed opportunity, dudes. I think if this ha if it doesn't craft... I don't know about these particles. Maybe they are showing me that it's not going to work. Maybe I'll have to wait till morning time. Or till uh, next night time, I mean. Sorry. Um, Fossic Resonator. I don't know if we really need this, but it's an advancement. And it's one Aquamarine and one Starlight Bucket. So I may just as well do that, right? So question is... <clears throat> can we craft this guy during daytime? Can we craft him at all? Did I mess up? Oh, it's a normal crafting bench table. Oh, otherwise I need a gold ingot if I want to do it here. Huh. I'll do it. I'll do it in my crafting table then, dude. Yeah. Boom. Fossic Resonator. Nice. Starlight Geolocation. So that's another advancement. Look at how good we're doing. If you would like to a chunk loader, craft a weirding gadget and place it down. Yeah, but weirding gadgets are expensive. They take an eye of ender. Oh no, they've changed the recipe a little bit. But yeah, they're still. I don't know if I need that. Honestly, I guess it's good for collecting starlight, but. 
The force is strong with this one, Luke. Star Trek nerd. <laughs> you know? We're Star Trek nerds. <laughs> That's what we are today. Alright, dudes, night time has arrived. I really hope that this works. We may have to move this. Because now we should be able to with this thing. Uh, yeah, it's early night time, so I'm not expecting it to work quite yet. What the crap is that? A butterfly? <laughs> I haven't seen that before. With this thing, we should be able to now see good starlight uh, areas. Now, another thing is the higher Y level we are at, the more starlight we get access to, I think. Can I put it in my offhand then? Oh, okay. It's supposed to be in my offhand. Because my vision's expanded, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. But this thing... <gasps> it, it upgraded it! Yeah! It upgraded it! Oh, <laughs> look at that! It worked! Maybe that would have worked the entire time then. Because I, I don't want to set up... I don't really want to put up a, an astral sorcery thing that I'd have to move. Don't know why this is red, by the way. That's kind of scary. But yeah, if I have to move it later because of starlight here we go this is a starlight area yeah this is a, this is a good area so we are not in a good area so we'll what i'm trying to say is we'll probably want to move it now rather than later or soon rather than later um so let me mark this down now uh here's another thing that i want to do uh the next step now i've looked into this is for us to get the star metal ingots which will eventually take us, take us to Twilight Forest, which will be a great dimension to mine in and do all the quests and stuff. Um, but to get it, we need Star Metal Ore. One Star Metal Ore is created with two Stardust and a bunch of other stuff. These things are easy to make, or I don't I shouldn't say easy, but you know, they're not too bad. Sand and stuff like that. Uh, however, it's the, the main thing is the two Stardust here. The rest is, I've looked into, it's kind of easy to get, or we have it already. We could technically do this right now. Uh, and get one star metal lore, and from that we can get one ingot, and that ingot will advance us in the quest here as well. Actually, why did this not... Why did that not register? Can I pick this guy up? Oh, okay. I have to break it and pick, put it down again. Why is that red, though? That's not a good thing, right? <laughs> it doesn't feel like I built it correctly. Ha. Huh. Okay. Uh, but yeah, um... So that's the next thing, and then we can go to the Twilight, and yeah, that's going to be really good. So, uh, that's that's what we should do. However, like I said, I've been looking up some things, and what we want to do, um, it's going to take a little bit longer time, but it's going to give us more star metal, because we, we have exactly two of these uh, things. And remember last time, I think I spent over five hours finding these <laughs> two. Now, if you go to the in-between lands in, uh, immediately, you'll probably find more of them. Uh, let's try this. Let's grab that, right? And let's put it in the world. And then if you throw this and this in there. Yeah, something is happening. That's going to transmute into a new sample, which will give me at least one star metal or stardust back, but hopefully two. Oh yeah, something happened. Yeah, look at that. So now it's a celestial a crystal cluster. And if we, it took about two minutes or so. Both of these transformed. Cool. If we wait for this to grow, uh, and you can see, you can tell that it's grown if it has white sparkles around it. Um, or white particles. Look at how sweet they look, though. They look awesome. <laughs> they look so cool. Look like something from, like, Warcraft 3 or something. That's awesome. Or from League of Legends. <laughs> but yeah, when they are fully grown, we should be able to harvest them and get one to two stardust. So hopefully double up on what we, what we put in. I don't know if that's going to be important, but I kind of wanted to try it out. But anyway, dudes, that's going to do it for today. Next time, we'll probably go ahead and do some building and do some Master Sorcery building. Uh, build an altar over there. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you dudes have enjoyed. And I hope you're still enjoying the SevTech Marathon because I'm having a great time. So thank you guys so much for the support. And I will see you dudes in the next episode.